In today's video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process of creating your own logo for free by yourself without using any complicated design apps like Photoshop or Illustrator. Let's do this. Hi my lovely people, it's Natalia and welcome back to my channel where I share super action ideas on content creation for entrepreneurs and creatives. And since so many of you have reached out to me via email and dropped me some DMs on Instagram asking how to design your own logo, I'm coming to you with a short and sweet tutorial on how to do it yourself for free and in Canva. Let's jump right on in. If you don't have a Canva account yet, you can sign up using my link down below, which will give you 30 days of Canva Pro for free. First, what you want to do is to search for a logo template in here at the top. And as you can see, there are tons of different templates available for free for Canva already, but I'm making one from scratch because I want something unique, even if it's just an imaginary brand I'm designing for today. So let's hit a blank template and we're in the editor now. So first I'm going to choose a background color and eventually I'll download it um, as a transparent background design and I'll show you how to do it in a moment so make sure to stay to the very end. But for now at this stage I'd like to see how the logo is going to look like against the brand colors. So first I'm going to choose this light powdery pink and let's get designing. So today I'm creating a logo that's a combination of a symbol and a brand name. So let's start off with a letter and the name for the company is Aina, which means always in Finnish. And it's a handcrafted jewelry brand inspired by astronomy. So, you know, the shapes represent different galaxies, constellations, and, you know, individual stars. And by the way, I'm super curious what you're designing your logo for. So let me know in the comments down below what you're working on. So in my mind, it's quite a subtle feminine brand. So I'll start off with a delicate font for the company name. And I want a serif font because it's more decorative in a way and it will establish the tone and style of the brand much better. And there are tons of different options of fonts on Canva, both on free and pro. So you can just play around and find the one that fits your brand well. And I'm opting for this Noto Serif Display Medium font. And now we can move on to our symbol. I'll just change the color quickly and maybe let's make it a bit smaller to make a space for that symbol and we can just go ahead to the elements. And this is where you need to choose something that really represents the brand's style and values well. So really take the time here to kind of think about all the different shapes and lines that convey that identity of your brand. And since this one is again quite subtle and elegant, I imagine the jewelry being almost ethereal and this is what I'm looking for in this symbol. Let's go and type in celestial as it's connected to the cosmos and I can just browse through these elements here to see if it fits. So let's browse a bit. Let's see if something fits the brand just now. And let's maybe try this one. Um, I'll move it up a bit and change the color to the same kind of dark one that I've used for the text. And I like this one just because it's got that kind of beady look to it. Um, and it's got th these kind of little, little elements in there and there are planets and there's a moon as well. So it might remind something um, jewelry related, but I don't love it that much. So let's keep on looking and let's change the keyword to ethereal. Oh yes, this is something that looks pretty good. So let's move it up in here. And as you can see, I can just drag it kind of to the middle and this solid line appears. And this means that it's exactly in the middle of the design. You can also click on position in here and hit center just to be on the safe side. And I'll click in here and change it to the dark color. And I actually really like what it looks like. And I've played around with the position and the sizing of this Aina text. Uh, so I think we're missing a subheading as well. So just something to show that this is a jewelry store. So let's add another text and let's change the font to Noto Serve Display Light this time just to differentiate the two. And I'll make it much, much smaller. And again, let's remove the italics. Let's make it uppercase. And I'll just change the color again to the dark one. Let's move it down here. And let's say jewelry. And this looks a bit narrow to me. So let's add a bit of spacing in between the letters. So if you hit that and hit letters, you can drag it around and I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so I think that looks really pretty, but let's duplicate it and actually test it in reverse. So test it on a darker background color. So let's go here, click this dark color, or maybe this one. Yeah, this one will be better. 
and then change these ones to light so that you can see if you're adding a variety of your different logos onto your posts, it actually looks well as well. Brilliant, that's amazing. That's exactly what I was looking for. So let's just name our design. This is a good habit to have. And I'll say Ina Jewelry Logo. Now that we've got our logo designed, let's go ahead and download it. So as I mentioned at the beginning, we want a logo with a transparent background, so we want a PNG file. And this means we, first of all, need a white background to be able to remove it. And the second thing is the transparent background option is actually only available to pro users. So select it if you're a pro user, but if not, you can just export it as a regular PNG and go to a website called remove.bg to get that sorted for free. So let's duplicate that page. I'll move it down in there. Let's select the background color and hit white in here. So this is going to be our exported logo. Let's hit download in here and you can hit transparent background as a pro user. PNG is the suggested format and select the third page. So the one with the white background, hit done, download, and that's you sorted with a PNG logo. I also like to have my logo in SVG format, so you can select it in here. And it's a vector base format, which means your logos can get as big as you need them from a small logo on a business card to a billboard size, so huge. And it's useful to have your logo in this format as well. So I'll just download it like this. So one caveat with creating logos in Canva is that you cannot trademark any stock elements, which means you need to really keep that in mind when creating a logo for a business. And when you're acquiring rights for a trademark, you're actually protecting your brand from theft or any unfair competition. And that's very important. If you need to create social media graphics, posters, or any other designs for your business, check out this comprehensive Canva tutorial to learn how to use it as a complete beginner. If you're comfortable in Canva already, you can check out my top 20 tips and tricks to make your workflow faster and to discover some cool features which you might not have heard about before. We've just hit our first thousand subscribers. So I'd like to thank each and every one of you for showing up in here, watching my videos and supporting the channel. It truly means the world to me, so thank you. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.